Good morning, fellas. Oh yeah, it's real dark. You know why it's real dark? Because we're going fishing. Day one of practice today starts now. FLW tour stop number three back in Florida. Yeah, I have a sweatshirt on. Uh huh. I didn't hardly even bring anything warm. I had to borrow this. Actually, I gave this to Brandon and I had to take it back from him because now we're in Florida and there's another cold front, so it's kind of crazy. So, that's what you're watching. Stay tuned. This stuff is going to get, uh, I think, pretty good. Right, dude, you taking off? Yeah, time to roll. Oh, roll. dark 30. What up, man? How are you? Feeling good this morning? Yeah, good. Good. All right, guys, so seriously, we have to get it done this tournament. Uh, Mark Rose is on a tear, Brian Thrift's on a tear. I, I don't expect anything less from those guys uh, this tournament as well. So, I need to uh, I need to win this one. You know, when you get guys like Mark and, and Brian and some of these other guys that just do some stupid damage repeatedly on, on lakes. And Brian just actually had another second place tournament in Acosta a bit yesterday. So, <clears throat> what does that teach you? What does that show you? That shows you that consistency and winning multiple tournaments in a row is possible. So, what does that, what does that make me feel like? It makes me feel like I need to go out and I need to... Uh, Maybe I need to win this tournament, you know? But the only way to win this tournament is I have to prepare to win this tournament. It means I have to practice hard. I have to make good decisions. I have to get out on the water and work hard. I sit in some Florida vacation. He goes, man, I'm looking for a little sugar. <laughs> what? Are you back on that <laughs> crap again? Don't even start. Really? Every morning. <laughs> something new. <God. laughs> He's always got the camera when you do something like that. Get that sugar. It's right here, dude. I can't believe you didn't find it. I'm looking at it. You're so uncomfortable right now. You're so uncomfortable right now based on what you said that you just opened the cabinet so you can't even see it in there. What are you going to do today, Brian? <laughs> you answer this every time. <sighs> well, I'm going to finish this episode. Yeah. Not this episode. The travel episode. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish the Tyler episode. And... Oh, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. So we're loving all the support, guys. Seriously, the support is unbelievable. And the whole reason I do these videos is because of you guys. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for viewing the videos. Thanks for supporting what we're doing because we don't know what we're doing. We're just having fun. I don't know. Just trying to bring you along. Let's see what's up. And uh, so far, that's what we're doing. So guess what? One day video, one day post. This is a record. Swim bait video with Grant. What do you think? What do you think the views were, Brandon? In one day. One day. What do you think? What do you think it's at in one day, Brandon? I just checked it, so I know. Oh, you did? Yeah. It's like fifty-seven thousand. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, big, dude. It's real good. Yeah, it's real good. It's awesome. Oh, man, you scared me, dude. It's like it was a ghost it's of just, Tom Brady. I, I was dealing with the flaw of the house. There's no fan in the bathroom. Yeah? What you did, you should be ashamed of. That was, that was I have dude one. wipes. I brought dude wipes this time. <laughs> yeah, I, brought, I found this was what was plugged in. So when I checked in, this thing plays music. It's what got aromatherapy. It was freaky. And it's like all these colors. I thought it was like, uh, it was like out of Silence of Lambs, but we've got... There's some sort of scented thing. There's orange, there's fight it, and there's pay attention. So Brandon today, while he's editing, he can kind of chill or he can get wound up, whatever he wants to do. So we gotta let Brandon figure this out today. It's got, I mean, look at the, look at the instruction book. There's like 25 pages on this thing, so. Hey. Essential oil is purity and purpose. That'd be perfect for you, man. There you go, man. Purity and purpose. See, Billy, he'll be able to relax today. When we come in, he'll be in a great mood. I'll be like, I got purity and purpose. Brandon's always on a good one. Brandon, you do have purity and purpose. All right, guys. Seriously, again, you're watching the FLW Tour Official Practice Video. Third tournament of the year, Harris Chain. Of course, we get here to Florida. little cold front moves in. It's going to be like 25 mile an hour winds today. All right. We got everything? You got all your stuff? Y'all are serious looking, man. I'm liking, I'm liking the seriousness here. This is exactly the mood we need to be in. Start in practice. Uh, we got to meet Matt. Matt needs some. Matt needs some worms. There's Matt there now. Got worms? Yeah, we got worms. But yours are bigger. Hey Billy, 
Yep. You know what boat ramp this is called? No. This one here, we'll call this boat ramp the glory hole. This is the glory yeah. hole boat ramp. That's exciting. Yes. You know why they call it the glory hole boat ramp? No. Come here. Porta potties, right? Yeah. Hold that open. Oh, somebody plugged the glory hole. Oh, this is Brandon's. Oh, this is where it all eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, so you have, you have two sides. So if you go in there, on that side, you have a little hole. Mm. It's kind of creepy, dude. Very creepy. So we're going to be fishing on Lake Griffin today. That is the plan. Lake Griffin, and then we'll maybe lock out of here and fish on, fish on Eustace, and then have Brandon pick us up in the truck tonight. So that's actually a pretty good little plan. Hi, right, Billy. I need greatness out of you today. I need greatness. Greatness. I need focus. I need determination. I need something in that pile of rods mm. to produce some good bites today. Okay. We gotta learn something. Might be a bite. Oh, there's a bite. They might be spawning up here. He was right there in a little spawn hole. That's good. There's one. That's a good one. Ow! That hurt. You cold? Yeah. I don't know. That could be its own video in itself. There's one. That's a good one. Yo, B. It's a keeper. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not a keeper. Yeah. All right, guys. Got a fishing tip for you. I just got through fishing this little bank right here. I fished it for a minute. And when you're fishing in Florida, especially during the springtime, potential spawn, you need to find hard bottom. This looks all good. Problem is it's all silted. It's like literally like two foot of silt. And how do I know that? I stick my rod tip down in the water and try to find hard bottom. I'd hit bottom and the tip would go down another foot. You know, I'd come back up, there'd be sediment all over the guides of the rod. Nasty, nasty bottom. So even though it looks good, it doesn't have hard bottom. If it doesn't have hard bottom, the fish aren't really gonna use that good. So that's the number one thing you wanna do this time of year is stick your rod tip down See if you can find hard bottom. If you find hard bottom on a bank like this, there'll be fish spawning. There's one. A good one too. All right, guys, day one of practice is officially over. What did we learn? I don't know, man. We probably had 15, 16 pounds or so. A handful of two and a halves, one real big one. I think if I come over to this lake, I could do this again. I, I think pretty consistent on catching a decent limit. Moving baits was definitely key today. Chatter baits, lipless crank baits. Uh, that's about it, really. I mean, we, we did a little bit of flipping in the, in the grass, but those were small ones. But the fish aren't spawning yet. We've got a full moon coming on like Saturday of the tournament, which is, you know, like a week away. So a lot of these places could get really good. Unfortunately, we might not see that happen until the tournament starts. So I'm not gonna fish this lake tomorrow. I'm gonna go do something different, try to evaluate. I feel like I can come over here and catch them if I need to, and I'll try to find some more. So day one is in the books. All right, fellas, good morning. Day two of practice. What are we gonna do today, Billy? Talk to me, Billy. Catch, uh, big fish today. Yes. Big fish. Yes. Looking for Bobby. Looking Wanna for find Bobby. Bobby and all of his friends. All right, Brandon, what are you gonna do today, my friend? I'm gonna take a nap today. Yeah, a little napping? Uh-huh. All right, man. Well, have a great day. Cheers. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the other side, my friend. I'm coming with you. They gotta drive. <laughs> ah, you, you do need to come with us. <laughs> well, we need to go. He's like, hurry up so I can get back here and take a nap. Hey, everybody, appreciate all the comments you're dropping on Brandon. He is the Mac Daddy, and 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 uh, 
he is very good at editing. Very creative. It's very good to have him on the team. He's been a big asset to what we're doing. And um, and I and I and I'm giving him a raise. It's like ten bucks an extra a week. Get it. Start him slow. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's a five pounder right there. He's swimming. There's two of them. There's two pretty good ones right there. Be real still. See him? See him in the hole? Sitting sideways? Right where my tip of the shadow is? He's turning that way now. Oh man, I see him on a bed down there, dude. Oh, he's about to bite it. Oh, dude, he just bit it. Look at him. What the heck? No, he might let it go. That was not a good shake off, guys. Huh. Not good. Not good. That was dumb. A trocar hook got him. Here, reach down and just, I don't want to put my hands on him. Just reach down, reach down, unhook him and let him go. He needs to go away. He needs to go back to where he came from. He's not that big. He's a three pounder. Just drop him in now. Thank you. Oh, the male, that's the male. The female is like 10 pounds, dude. Yes. Yes. It's a 10 pounder. Did you see it? <laughs> That's a stripe. You can see the stripes down there. <laughs> How big was that one? <laughs> I think I'm going to waypoint that. All right, did you have a good day, my friend? Good, good day. Have a good day. We had good a good day. day. We found some stuff. We did. Day, day two of practice is officially over. We located some situations, some big situations. So That's hopefully, fun. hopefully we're going to catch them. Look who's here. Mr. Brandon. Mr. Brandon's here. So what would you do today? I did some editing and uh, watched the movie. Yeah, did you go to the movie theater again? No, just off the computer. Yeah? Nice. All right, well, I'll go back it down. So, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh oh! <laughs> He's under pressure. pressure. Wind's got me. <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to hit the dock. He almost did. I know, but I think he's uh, heavy on the butt's gonna go on sideways. There you go. There you go. Floor it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. We got Billy nervous on that one. Okay. All right. Day day two is officially over. What did we learn? I don't know what we learned exactly, but we did find a few that could be good, and I caught a couple good ones this morning, casting around at one spot. We found a few this afternoon, not a lot, but a few. So, I don't know. Not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow, but tomorrow's an important day because we have to find a lot tomorrow because I don't have enough. If I wanna win this tournament, I definitely need more than what I have now, that's a fact. What's up? A good morning, day three starts now. About the third day of practice, I'm pretty tired, guys, I have to admit. You know, you think fishing all day long, so oh, that's just gonna be so much fun. But you're like intense focus, intense focus. Such intense focus that you like, don't think of anything else all day long. Like you're constantly thinking of your next move. You're standing on one foot all day long because you've got one foot on the trolling motor. Yeah, it wears you out. Thousands of casts, especially day one where you're just chunking and whining crankbaits all day long. Oh, so I'm getting up. I'm a little tired. Brandon's still in bed. Billy's not. Billy's in there jamming out to some kind of music on his phone. So again, what did we find yesterday? Well, we found last two days. So what's the two-day update? Because you have to think about these things. 
you have to constantly think, if the tournament started right now, this is how I do it at least, if the tournament started right now, what would I be doing? If the tournament started right now, I would be going to where I, what I found yesterday. And then if that didn't produce as good as I wanted it to, day one, day two, I would go to the offshore stuff that we found with the crankbaits, okay? Because there's potential there. It's a little random though, and I don't like random. Yes, you can go out there and you can probably catch a good number of keepers. But the problem is, it's like, it's such a, it's a little bit lucky in a way. Yes, you're fishing it the right way to catch a big fish, but it's like, are you gonna get a big bite? You don't know. And, and it's one of those situations where you're out there and you're like, everybody else around you is catching them and you watch guys next to you catch a big one and then you don't. It's just, it's mentally it's a little tough. <clears throat> I like a little bit more controlled environment. Meaning finding a better grade of fish flipping, a better grade of fish on docks, a better grade of fish sight fishing, whatever it may be. I feel like I have control a little bit more of my destiny. What do you think, B? Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's so chipper in the morning. That's what I love about Brandon. He wakes up in the morning. He's in such a good mood. He talks a lot. He's excited about what he's got to do today. See this right here? The sun up that high? That's bad. We did a little sleeping in this morning. I got to give. I got to. This is a shout out time, guys, for the video. Shout out time is for Bob's Machine Shop. That's right. Nice looking wrap, dude. How you Appreciate doing? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And you got Lithium Pros. Yeah. Good deal. Bob's Machine Shop. And what does Bob's make? Bob's makes the coolest hydraulic jack plates in the world, amongst other things, too. Some good stuff. I know they're stout, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. They I've help. had a Bob's on my boat for 20 years. Yeah, I've look. never hit that button and it not work. Works all the time. Never, I've never hit that button and it not work, honestly. Go look at the skeg and see how mm. stout they are. Because right. this thing fell off the trailer yesterday. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. That's not good. All right, if you guys are looking for a jack plate, hydraulic jack plate, or some cool boat accessories, check them out. All right, we're going fishing. See you, man. All right, we got to find greatness today, my friend. We're having a we're having a pretty good practice so far. Every day we found something that has potential. Spawning. He had some uh, juice coming out of his butt. They had juice coming out of their butt it means they're spawning. So that's a male. That's a little male. Billy got a bass. Billy got a bass. Billy got a bass. Here, come up here and show the camera, Billy. Show the camera, Billy. Billy's got a bass. Billy got a bass. Looks like I'm maybe sight fishing. We're finding some good ones. There's a lot of females. Females are very hard to catch, but I found some decent males, and that's what you need to find. I, I like I like trying to prepare myself, finding as many good males as I can, because then uh, at the very least you'll get 15, 16, 17 pounds of males, and then if you can get a couple of those females to bite, which are sometimes a lot harder, takes a lot more time, then you can bump up to 20 or, or more. So that's kind of the plan. I'm gonna tie on a little drop shot, see if I can see how these fish react. I'm just testing some baits to see how these fish react, and. Uh, I found one little bait that they're liking pretty good, so we'll leave it at that. Will he jump in the boat? I don't know. I mean, he's got a perfect angle to jump in the boat. I'm he goes on, on this side of you, I'm good. Because he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes the boat. Oh no. <clears throat> We had to sacrifice one, guys. We had to sacrifice one. There's two 
something. There was a four pounder there. I thought from yesterday. I think that's just the male that's left over. All right, guys, what I did here, because you don't want to accidentally catch a big old fish, take a screw lock, a little owner screw lock, and then thread your bait on like that. You still got the weight, and the fish can't get hooked. All right, we're in, we're in, we're in. Practice is officially done with, I don't know. I mean, practice is always just trying to figure out and solve a puzzle but I'm doing what I like to do I think I found uh, an opportunity I'll say that they're gonna be hard to catch they always are there's gonna be people catching some of them there always is and uh, all that good stuff so all I can do is fish hard pray hard and see if we can get it done what do you think B yeah 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 feeling top 10 I, I want to make a top 10 for you guys and bring you on the journey throughout this tournament a four day all four days it'd be awesome Hi right, guys, so it is uh, day of the meeting, and we uh, we slept in a little bit, and then we went fishing in this lake right here. Brandon filmed it. We had John Cox, Billy, Billy did it, and we went after a personal best bass for Billy. Isn't that right? We did. We did. So that video will drop soon. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to see Billy trying to catch his personal best bass with the man himself, Mr. John Cox. A lot of fun. So now we're going to head to the meeting and um, get signed up for this tournament. Bring some tackle tonight, and we're going to be signing off. So that's what we did on our day off. Pretty cool stuff. And again, thanks so much, guys, for all the support you guys have given me thus far. Loving it. We got a, we got a guy right here. He's pulled up to us. Check him out. What's up, man? I walked out on YouTube all the time. Hey. Y'all going to a tournament? Yeah, Harris Chain. That's what's up, man. <laughs> all right. Later, bro. See you, man. That was cool. That was real cool. Let's dig of that, Billy. That's yeah. what's up, dog. Yeah. Billy, you Billy, heard it. That's what's up. Billy, he knew who you are too, man. If he watches the videos, he knows who you are. That was cool. So, I kind of forgot the camera. We were in such a rush to get to this meeting, and I completely forgot the camera on the boat. So I had to run back. Scott's in the meeting right now, and I'm just going to see what's up. Been to the same building before, back in the uh, Bassmasters. So it'll look pretty, pretty familiar. Found the camera, I see. I did. Found the camera. I see. Well, Brand Brandon forgot the camera. Brandon forgot the camera all the way back at the house. I'm glad you found it. So we, we missed some of the meeting, but. At least you're here for part of it. Alright, so we just got my boat number. I'm boat like 128, which isn't great for a sight fishing tournament. And Anthony Gagliardi here. We're going to be seeing him tomorrow. I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing him hooting and hollering. And he's going to be, we're going to be cheering each other on. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be fishing <laughs> in the same five, area. That's right. That's right. So that's what we're going to do. So good luck, man. Good luck. We'll, we'll be down you. there. Yeah. All right, All right. See you, man. All right, B. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this is, this is, I have to admit, what Brandon just did was a big help. What Brandon just did, which is a little embarrassing, I had to send Brandon to go get hooks. Truck our hooks. Truck our hooks. I, I am out of five odd TK-130s, literally. All right, guys, we're back in the house. It's time for bed. I've been out there rigging tackle. We had a lot to do. Three days of practice. What did I learn? Well, I learned that I am going to do a little sight fishing, and if I need to, I can go fishing, fishing again with lipless crankbait. So I feel like I had a pretty good practice. You know, you, you know, you just you you want to have a couple of options anytime you fish these tournaments like this. You want to have a couple of options, and I feel like I have a few. You know, uh, so I'm gonna put uh, put a lot of effort in tomorrow, and hopefully catching a few that I found on the beds, and then do a little fishing in the afternoon, and then we'll see how that goes. So. That's the plan. Tomorrow morning we get up day one of the FLW Tour. Harris Chain starts and we're going to be videoing the entire event. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be going four days with you guys. I think that would be awesome. If I could pull off four days in the tournament, give you four days of the tournament would be very, very sweet. So I appreciate you guys hanging with me, putting up with all of our silliness. We've got some really cool stuff dropping soon. 
and uh, wish me luck. Thanks, guys. I am going to bed, and I am out.